That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. The Incredible Hulk is my all-time favorite action hero. He's big, he's green, he's strong, uh, he's impulsive, and more importantly, he's a scientist. Uh, so how did the Hulk become the Hulk? What we know about the Hulk is that he was zapped by gamma radiation and he became green, big, and whenever he gets angry, he transforms. But what do we really know about gamma radiation? So if you were to look at your DNA, uh, like the double helix that it is, what gamma radiation does is it causes double-stranded breaks that pretty much cut up DNA at multiple different areas. So imagine taking your genome, like a glass vase, and just dropping it on the ground. You pretty much be left with having to put this back together. This entire process actually has a name. It's called chromothripsis, and it's basically a word for chromosomal shattering. So I would imagine that some sort of hidden mystery in the reassembly of those genes uh, underlies a lot of the reason why Hulk can become the Hulk. Now in addition to this, the Hulk is able to transform back into Bruce Banner, back into the Hulk, and all of this is instigated by rage, by anger. The only molecular mechanism that I happen to know about that can turn on a gene and turn off a gene is epigenetic modification. Now imagine all the genes that correspond to being a normal, mild-mannered scientist like Bruce Banner, and all the genes involved with being Rage Hulk, and imagine each of them having a light switch. An epigenetic modification can transition all of the switches that turn Bruce Banner into Bruce Banner and the Hulk into the Hulk. And the nice thing about all of this is that they're very reversible. When you think about genetic mutations, a lot of these things aren't actually reversible. They happen and they're engraved in your cells forever. So another thing we know about the Hulk is that he's green. I would think about what happens to you when you get a really bad bruise. When you get a really bad bruise, you see blue, you see purple, but you also see green. One of the reasons you see green is because one of the metabolites that form from destroyed blood cells and the catabolism of hemoglobin, the protein that actually carries oxygen in your blood, you get this one metabolite called biliveridin. Now, biliveridin is green. Um, if you look at one extreme uh, of the spectrum in the animal kingdom, there are lizards that have tons of biliveridin in their blood, and their blood is really, really green. Now, imagine, you know, when he goes into his transformation, this is a really traumatic event. He has a humongous increase in size, uh, in volume, and everything else. So I would assume there's some sort of metabolic surge that destroys all of you know, his blood cells, leaving them with this green metabolite. Or if you want to get really creative, maybe this green metabolite gets incorporated in some sort of hulkoglobin that can carry you know, even more oxygen and support his incredible strength and stamina. If there's one mystery, though, that science just can't solve, it's how his pants stay on after every transformation. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.